Hey guys, welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. Today we have a cool build video for you guys. We're building a new computer for Tim, his new editing rig. Previously his computer, he'll tell you about his computer in a minute, but it's a cool video because we are building a Ryzen 7 1700 system and we'll be overclocking that, seeing how it performs in Premiere Pro and a few other applications. And yeah, it'll be a lot better than what Tim currently has. What are you running at the moment, Tim? Uh, I've got a Core i5 Ivy Bridge system, so I think it's a 3570, not even the K model. Uh, I've got 16 gig of DDR3 and a GTX 980 Ti, so I primarily built the system for gaming, but yeah, when it just comes to editing at 4K, it's simply not up to it in terms of its CPU power, I think, you know. Even editing something at 1080p um, would almost take 20 minutes to render that video. So at 4K, we know how much how much more power that uses. So, yeah. you know, it could be over an hour to wait for that to render. It's just not going to cut it. So it's yeah. good to get something a bit more powerful in a yeah, moment. Yeah, definitely. So, well, we don't know how the... Obviously, at, I think it's 3 gigahertz out of the box. It boosts up a little bit higher. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how it performs out of the box compared to, because we will be benchmarking Tim's computer that he currently has as well, see how that handles, overclock the Ryzen processor and see how we go with that. So I think it's time for, I'm going to make Tim build this, so I'm going to sit back and watch. So time for, be some Tim, fun. Yeah, time for Tim to build his new computer. We'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we've built the system now. Um, I think it should be pretty powerful and cost effective, but of course we have to check how it performs, so let's get to some benchmarks. Alright, so before we jump into the benchmarks, I suppose we should take a brief moment to tell you exactly what's going into this system. Obviously we have the AMD Ryzen 7 1700 processor, and we've decided to install on the Gigabyte AB350 Gaming 3 motherboard, which as the name suggests uses the AMD B350 chipset. Since Tim will primarily be using this system for content creation, we've gone with 32GB of DDR4-3000 memory, though with 4 modules we were only able to run the memory at DDR4-2666. 
For storage, I have the Corsair MP500, 480GB SSD handy, and as a high-speed NVMe SSD, this should have Tim well covered. Tim's old PC, which he's keeping as a backup, features the GeForce GTX 980 Ti. So with this new system, we haven't really made much of an upgrade here as we went with the GTX 1070. That said, we did use the MSI GTX 1070 Gaming X model. Uh, this is a very nice graphics card. It runs cool and quiet. And when Tim isn't busy creating content for us to watch, this will certainly be powerful enough so Tim can enjoy the latest and greatest games. As a side note, for benchmarking, we replaced the MSI graphics card with the Titan XP, so the data is comparable with the numbers that we already have. So with that, let's get to it. Although this isn't primarily a gaming PC, it's a much appreciated secondary function that Tim will no doubt enjoy in his spare time. Not that he should have much of that now, but anyway. Out of the box, the Ryzen 7 1700 chip is only a whisker slower than the 1700X. Meanwhile, once overclocked, it pulls ahead of the 1800X by a slim margin. It is worth noting that the minimum frame rates are considerably better than that of Intel's quad-core 7600K. Before we move on, let's have a quick look at Battlefield 1 performance. Again, the Ryzen CPUs offer strong minimum frame rate performance, and here we see that the overclocked 1700 is able to keep pace with the $500 US Ryzen 7 1800X. Even stock, the 1700 spits out an impressive 1400 point score in Cinebench R15, which doesn't place it that far behind the $1050 US Intel Core i7-6900K. Overclocking boosts the multi-threaded score by 20%, producing a score of 16,077 points. Impressive stuff indeed. Now, this is what the system was built for, working with Premiere Pro CC. Previously, exporting a 4.5 minute 4K video took Tim's Core i5 Ivy Bridge PC roughly 15.5 minutes. This means a typical length Harbour Unbox video would take over an hour to encode. Hope you don't make any mistakes on that system, Tim. Thankfully, that won't be an issue though, as the new Ryzen 7 1700 rig took just 11 minutes to complete the render, and this was before we applied any tweaks. Overclocking the chip to 3.8GHz reduced the render time to just 9 minutes and 26 seconds, which is an incredible time for a 4K video encode. In comparison, my own 10-core Core i7-6950X processor takes 8 minutes and 23 seconds. Granted, that is a whole minute faster, but at 16,050 US, or 2,400 Aussie, it's horrible value next to $330 US or $470 Aussie Ryzen 7 1700. Well, you guys have seen the benchmarks, very impressive stuff. A serious upgrade over Tim's old PC, especially for editing videos. Yeah, I mean, it's 40% faster than my old system before any overclocking. So previously what was taking, you know, about 15 and a half minutes on a 4K encode, um, that's been shaved 4.5 minutes right off that. So down to 11 minutes, it's a pretty significant saving there. And of course, after we overclocked the system, we mm. got another 17% performance out of it, um, took that encode down further to just 9.5 minutes, so makes it all up about 65% faster than my old PC, which is a really fantastic result, I think, for our new system. Exactly, and it's something like only 11% slower than my 6950X system, which costs twice as much. Of course, we can overclock the 6950X and squeeze somewhere like 10 or 15% more performance out of it. But again, it costs twice as much, so you're going to get it nowhere near twice as fast as what we've built for Tim. So, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Tim's new editing rig come together. And Tim certainly now has no excuse for not creating content. I want to see a video from him in the next week or two. Be sure to give him a hard time on social media if you don't see anything from him. Alright guys, we'll catch you next time.